in this video I will update with you this Nam Dok Mai Mango that I bought back in April and up part to a 25 gallons container. Hello everyone, thank you for watching my video and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to Green Mangoes, please hit that subscribe button and help me out. For today's video, I will uh, give you an update of my Nam Dok Mai Mango. And if you recall from video number one, I bought this from Tampa, Florida. It was in a 15 gallons container. And when I flew back to Las Vegas, uh, the, the, the person from the nursery kind of trim the pot a little bit, pack, uh, pack it up, and then ship it overnight for me to Las Vegas. And generally, uh, you don't want to repot or plant the mango immediately due to the fact that um, this was from Florida and Las Vegas is a completely different climate. So I need to acclimate this to this weather here first. So it has been here since April and now it's July, mid-July, so it's been you know a little bit more than three months and it got used to uh, the heat here in Las Vegas, the climate here and as you can see, if you look closer, uh, some of the leaves got burnt from the sun uh, but no worries, it's just uh, some of them got burnt but the new growth looks green and looks amazing so later on this video, I will tell you what I've done to keep this alive, to keep this healthy and thrive here in Las Vegas but for first of all, I will um, tell you that this is ready to be repot because if I pick it up and things don't fall apart. So if, if you haven't already planted mango, the soil has to be very loose and well drained. So if I cut this part apart and if I grab onto the soil, it probably will fall apart. So if I can pick this up and the root is is big enough to hold everything together which means it's, it's, it's ready to go to the next pot size which is the 25 gallon and uh, without any further ado uh, I will show you that I have already have my mix and for the soil mix it's very simple for me I use cactus soil cactus soil is very loose well drained it doesn't have a lot of uh, it's not very rich in nutrients but that's what mangoes like anyway I also add 25 to 35 percent of sand into the soil and the sand will help um, uh, the soil loosen up a little bit more uh, when I water this mango water should be running through the pot down to drain down to the bottom of the pot and out immediately otherwise we get uh, root rot very easy uh, with that being said um, uh, besides the soil uh, I also will be utilizing uh, Dr. Q uh, uh, a transplant shocked solution to, uh, to to water this plant after I transplant into the bigger pot. That will reduce um, the, the chance of the plants going to shock and die on me. So you gotta do whatever you can to help it thrive into the new, uh, new pot right here. Um, beside that, uh, you know, soil, uh, transplant shocks, pot, Nam Dok Mai Mango, and uh, we're ready to go. Oh yeah, for before I transplant this, the soil is very loose, so I don't want to pick it up and just pull the plant out of the, out of the, uh, the pot here, unless it's very, very root bound and it has a lot of root. So what I will do is I will cut this and slowly, carefully remove the pot away and transplant into here. So I'll bring the camera uh, closer and I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to start filling to the bottom of the pot with the mix I already mixed together, sand and cactus mix. You can use any uh, potting soil if you wish, but make sure that uh, the soil is not too rich in nutrients and very well drained. I happen to like um, cactus mix for all my tropical plants 
that doesn't require a lot of nutrients at the beginning. And of course, every once in a while, every month or so, uh, I will fertilize this since the water, I mean, the soil is very well drained. Anything you fertilize will it wash away very fast. So make sure you want to keep a very, very uh, frequent feeding schedule to make sure that your, your mango have enough to eat. And remember that although they don't require soil that is rich in nutrients, but they do take a lot of nutrients. After this video, I will make another video about what I will feed this and how I feed it. So, just doing a dry fit here. And that looks good. You can see that, like I said before, the soil is very loose. And I, as I picked up my, my Namdok Mai, it just fell apart immediately. So I try to be careful, but uh, probably takes two person to do it. Um, look at this soil, very sandy, very loose. So as I try to position here in the middle, then uh, backfill it. Let me check this real quick to make sure that's enough soil. And when you do transplant into a pot like this, make sure that you don't uh, bury the root flare too. Uh, too deep. The reason is because um, with the container this big, over time the soil will settle down, and uh, and if it settle down and the, you bury the root or, or or transplant at the ground level, what happen is uh, the mango will get suffocated. So make sure you don't uh, bury it too deep and show some root flare over time. You can add more compost layer to the top, but, but make sure you don't bury it too deep so that way uh, the, the mango can get oxygen and survive. So now that I've done that, the next step is I will water this, soak this, saturate this mango tree with a solution that I mixed earlier with water and uh, and Dr. Q Plantronic anti shocks. And uh, the weather now here in Las Vegas, even though it's 8 p.m., uh, if you notice, it's kind of dark now because I wait until it's very late in the evening to transplant this so it doesn't die. And the current temperature here, even though it's 8 p.m., is right at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So, there you go, everyone. I've got this transplanted into a 25 gallons container. What I will do next is I will bring this to my cover patio and keep it uh, in the shaded area for the next week or so. Make sure that um, the plants get uh, protected from the sun, uh, the heat here in Las Vegas, and get used to the new part for at least a week first. And then after that, I will bring out, out outside um, to the sun, the full sun, maybe three or four hours the first uh, two days 
and then uh, five to six hours the next three days or so and then once you get used to that after a couple of weeks then I'll leave it out here in the full sun again uh, to dive here in, in Las Vegas. Uh, growing this mango Nam Doc Mai here is not as easy as the, the tropical areas or the subtropical areas that you guys uh, most of you uh, have and for those of you who watch this video I assume that um, maybe I'm wrong most of you are wanting to grow mangoes and maybe living in the tropical areas uh, climate so um, this this here I've uh, been living here in the desert for the last three months and uh, I do hope that it will continue to grow and thrive and, and hopefully it will bloom and, and set some fruit for me next year one of the things that uh, really helped this tree to uh, to grow more greens uh, and 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 stay stay very uh, hydrated here in the dry uh, climate was I follow feed with seaweed extract uh, every three or four weeks or so uh, very early in the morning around four or five a.m. before the suns come up so. As you can see, some of this leaf here got burned, and this is uh, the old leaves that got, came from the tree. The newer one, or the one that got very well uh, fed with foliar feed with uh, seaweed extract, and that's one way uh, it will help stay moist and stay hydrated here in Las Vegas because the wind and the dry uh, climate here will 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 kill the tree and suck all the moisture out of the leaves. So that's it for today's video. Uh, maybe next video I'll make a um, a clip, a video, laying out what I uh, feed this tree, uh, the feeding schedule, and and what are the, some of the, the the care tips that I use on this uh, this tree so far. Thank you for watching my video, and uh, this is just an update on my mango. I uh, hope you enjoy. If you do, please uh, click on the thumbs up and uh, give me a like, and I'll make another video very soon. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.